We're gonna do a thousand arm swings a day and a million push-ups. And we're gonna be so buff you won't even know what hit you. <laughs> Can't imagine a buff million now. Alrighty. Hello everyone. My name is Triton. It's time for some more Trails of Cold Steel 2. We just got the Courageous, which is awesome. It's pretty cool to see everyone hang out on the deck. Looking to the sky. It's time to finish up my tour of the Courageous. See what it's all about. Talked to Alfin last time. It's so cool that Toa's the captain. Oh, by the way, there's something I heard right before I left the academy that you might find interesting. Apparently, there's a number of second year Thor students out there trying to fight the Alliance. Ooh. Really? Yeah, supposedly after helping the first years escape, they slid up and spread out across the country. They've been on the move ever since, trying to set up Arcus relay devices wherever they can. Wow, I can't believe it though. Our second years are pretty tough. And don't you forget it. But seriously, if we could find them, I'm sure they'd be a great asset to our cause. There's a chance to run into them in a populated area, but I'm guessing you have better luck on the highways. I'll keep that in mind, Toa. Thanks. That's awesome. Oh, so I can do that with Toa. Okay. I'm here if you need someone to talk to or if you just want some advice. At the end of the day, don't forget. Prince Oliver entrusts the courageous to you kids, not to me. I don't think you have anything to worry about. Our field studies really drove home that the importance of being able to think and act on our own. There's a good chance, as any, for us to put those practical lessons to use. <laughs> I suppose I need say no more. Tell me the value of the class 7 education and make me proud. Alright, Sarah. I will. I guess I shouldn't go to the bridge yet. I don't want to leave. I want to look around. Stop. Ooh, can I get new weapons? Use the PC to fund students? Oh yeah, it did tell me a little bit about them. You can access the front and rear decks from this floor, and it's where all the shops are. I'll probably see a lot of this place. Pretty cool, there's shops on here. About the third floor facilities. The third floor contains a variety of facilities you can make use of, including shops and a room you can use to take a nap. Only one shop is available for now, but by recruiting Thor students, you can raise that number up to four. Ooh, nice. I wonder who would run the shops. I guess Becky would. And what was it? Her rival. The aforementioned nap room allows you to rest and restore your HP and EP for free. Nothing about those graph points. Alright. Elliot! Oh, he has his violin. Cool. Or a violin. Oh, his name's Hugo? Okay. Yeah, I forgot about Hugo. Kind of funny how him and Becky always have this little rivalry going on. Hey, Elliot. Doing some violin maintenance, I see. <laughs> yeah, probably seems kind of strange, huh? I would have thought so too, but Prince Oliver changed my mind with a few choice words of encouragement. He said, War or no war, the power of music never weakens. If the path of a musician is truly what you aspire to, then even the way you fight to reflect that and be your own. That makes a lot of sense coming from Prince Oliver too. He plays the lute, doesn't he? That's right. He performed all over the country and even outside of it. I'm not exactly sure what he means about finding my own way to fight, but I'm going to try to figure that out. If I just keep on fighting while staying true to myself, the answer will come to me. I sure hope it does. Hope it does too for you, Elliot. Billy and I have been talking about what we should do now we have the ship. Making sure everyone from Thor's is alive and well should definitely be one of our top priorities if you ask me. I think it'd be helpful to have the entire lacrosse club on board, but the other students probably wouldn't hurt. Wow, I'm biased, Elisa, biased. The more the merit, the more the better in my book. We need as many able bodies as possible when it's time to take back Thor's too, so let's get everyone we can. <laughs> yeah! 
remember correctly, they act like they're married a longer time. Oh, uh, yeah, they kind of bicker like a married couple, which is cute. What is this front deck? What, what is this? That's the nap room. Not really enough beds? We have way more people than that right now. Gaius! And his bird! So cute. Oh, hey. It's a talk again, Zeal, right? Yep, I was surprised to see him too. But he must have decided to find us. He seems happy to see that we're all together again. I wonder if this wouldn't have shown up if you hadn't talked to him last time and found out about the hawk. <laughs> that makes two of us. My people refer hawks as sacred birds. I think him being here is a sign that this ship has the wind's blessing. The skies may be vast, but with the wind looking after us, we should be able to fly them of ease. And I'm even happy to have Zeo here. Me too. It's cute. Hi, birdie. Oh, weapon shop. Ooh. Hello, random guy. Logistics officer... Daitas? Daits? Curious about all the layout changes since you were last aboard? It's had a fair bit of remodeling done in the hopes that it can operate even more efficiently. So take this chance to get familiar with what's where where. So take this chance to get familiar with what's where now. It'll pay off in the long run. Trust me. All right. Let's exchange a bit. It's been a while. Ooh, stronger weapons. Bakora, Imaru. Yes, please. Green. Did I bother to buy everything? Or is it just... Hmm. Buy my main team for the moment. But I can tell? Ooh, beast fangs. Unpleasant gun swords that tear into the flesh of foes. Wow. A spear for Gaius, yes. Yes, indeed. I was gonna say, where's the rest of my party? But there they are. I think they're my things. Wind vipers. Oh, that's Sarah. Oh. Did I buy it, I wonder? Yes. Won't hurt to everyone. Well, that's... Alright. Spear sword. Use this. Okay. Remachius. I think we No, Ellie needs something. I guess I take him with me. Just because. It's fun. Now, armors. Interesting. Oh gosh, everyone needs armor. It's about armor. <laughs> well, green definitely needs it. Give Gaius some. This Gaius is amazing. Especially in battle. Laura one. Um, I might give it to Fee. Wow, her defense is way lower than everyone else's. Interesting. I hope Maki's out for once. I've been kind of ignoring Maki's. I have no money now. This is my team. Yeah, he's here. Okay. I'm just trying to focus more on my little team that I have right now. Just in case. No one's out on the rear deck. Sad. You get the chance to get some armor of 20% evade for fee. Ooh, okay. I'll have to look for that. Food. Books. There's a ton of stuff on this floor. I should probably take a look around to see what's on offer. About the second floor facilities. The second floor is a wide variety of facilities, including a kitchen and an infirmary. While these facilities are currently a little, shall we say, limited... More will become available as you continue to recruit students. So they're really pushing to recruit everybody. Hey, Blade! And snowboarding? What? Skateboarding? This floor also plays a 
Contains a game room. This floor also contains a game room, which is just right for playing Blade 2 against your classmates. Blade 2? Is it different? Interesting. I must find out. That's a game room. Oh, they got pool. The blade. Oh, a little convenience. Vending machines. Canned juice. Canned coffee. You're asleep in nightmare. Oh, I might buy that. Keep them kind of awake. The same ones? Yeah, I don't know why there's two of them, but oh well. I can play Blade in here. Save. I'm bad at Blade. It feels like ages since the last time I had a chance to play Blade. Oh, wait. Didn't I end up with some cards when I was on the Pantagirl? We took out a Blade 2 deck. Upon closer inspection, you notice a scrap of paper stuck between two of the cards inside. Really? Huh? What is this? <laughs> Welcome to the new and improved version of Blade, beautifully titled Blade 2. It's basically the same thing, but with a few more cards to make it more strategic. Give it a shot, I think you'll like it. Just don't let it distract you too much from becoming a better night pilot, okay? <gasps> it is from Crow. I'm so happy. Crow. <laughs> when did he get this into my pocket? He could have just given it to me when we were sitting together, but I guess this is much more Crow approach. Oh well. That is awesome, Crow. Thank you. Like Crow still cares. Still, I like the sound of more strategic. Maybe I should try inviting someone down for a game sometime. I have to get all the practice in that if I can ever want to beat Crow anyway. Uh huh. I want to beat Crow. You can now play, play Blade too. Inspecting one of the card tables will allow you to call a classmate for a game. Playing against someone will allow you to deepen your bond with them, regardless of whether you win or lose. However, you can only deepen your bond with five characters at a time. Characters you have deepened your bond will get a star next to their name. After each major story development, these stars are removed, allowing you to deepen your bond with any five characters of your choosing again. Ooh. Nice. Late 2 is a card game in which two players take turns placing numbered cards in the field and vie for the to greater sum total. Once both players have been dealt their hands, they must each draw a card from the deck and place it on the field. The player draws a lower number must then proceed to place a card from their hand onto the field. The player who goes second must then play a card with the value that allows them to surpass their opponent's current total. This process repeats until one player can no longer surpass their opponent's total value or they run out of cards. If both players have an equal total at any point, the field is cleared and both players must draw and play new cards. If the final card of the game is used to clear the field, the match will result in a draw. Let's play against... I don't know. Uh, let's try Machius out. But yeah, I like the battles. It was cool. Gonna hold back. You better hold back. I need you to hold back, Machius. Well then, go ahead and draw. Alright. You're up first, Reen. Keep being first. Bolted. What's the difference in rules? The same to me. I done it. Mirror. Oh, crap. Wow. Why do you have so much? Oh. Blast. That's new. What does this do? Wait, what? What's going on? Oh, he blasted all my cards away. Mirror. Uh, well, I'm doomed. <laughs> Can't win that. Guess I won this Dang, time. Dang, you kept your six. Hmm. Oh, wow. <laughs> you had to get Reen as close to 100% evade as possible to survive that on Nightmare? Really? Wow, that's 
That sounds hard. Sounds really hard. Yes, victory is mine. Yes. Well, that's enough blade for me. See you later. I'm obvious. Oh, it's almost level four. I will win that blade. No, I'm joking. Ah, oh, use this. If we have we to. We have to. You have no choice. You must play me, use this. Oh, what is that card? Fours. Draw a card. I don't have any bolts or anything. I'll be going first. Good, Good for that. I don't even know what force does. Add six to your current total. Oh, all right. Oh no, double at your current. Oh, all right, that could help. Well, don't use it last. Adds one to your current total or brings back a card removed by a bolt card. Ah, oh, that's what happened. Okay. I never looked at the rules at all. <laughs> Of what the card said. I feel like he's gonna bolt me. How will you cope with this? Oh my gosh, you have it. I'm gonna do it too. I can't believe this. But you get used this. <laughs> what you get? <laughs> oh gosh, you did a lot. Oh, uh, please don't bolt me. I knew Take it. This. Let's do this. Not. Be gone. No, take away the two. Yeah, there we go. There we go. Can I win, please? Hi. We have the same score. Let's redraw. I'll be going first. Well, at least it wasn't a I complete won. waste of time. Well, I concede defeat this time. I beat you, sis. Oh, he needs to level up those points. But I hung out with him then. I, uh, I should pick a girl for once. Emma. <laughs> Promise you'll go easy on me. No. <laughs> no, no, no. Shall we draw? I'm happy I have force. I'm going first then. What do I have? I have bolt. I have mirror. Switch your cards with the opponents. Doubles your total. All right, by four. Oh, that was equal. Oh, we Oops. have the same score. Let's draw again. I'm going first. Then. Good. You go first. I'm going to use a bolt card. I want that back. Sorry, I'm gonna have to use a blast. You don't card. take my good one away. Yeah, that's not the best, but it's better than my force. Mirror card. Okay, so I've got to really do something else. <sighs> I have a bad total though. Oh, it's gonna be bad. Use mirror. Oh no, this could be trouble. Oh. Oh, I wasn't expecting that. I've got to use force. Oh no, this could be trouble. Oh, you beat I me. I won. <sighs> this one's all yours. Let me know if you want to play again, though. I'll be happy to join you. Of course. That was cool. I like the blade. Huh, who should I hang out with? Elliot! <laughs> Go easy on me, okay? Uh -uh. I will wreck you. No. <laughs> okay, let's draw. Well, looks like I'm up first. I like when they're first, because I have a little bit of a chance of winning. A little bit. Oh, they're gonna bolt that. Bolt. Bring it back. Don't take my force Blast. away. Yoo-hoo. Perfect. Being tied means we have to redraw, oh. right? Being tied means we have to redraw, right? How much redrawings are we doing? Well, looks like I'm up first. Being tied means we have to redraw, right? Well, looks like I'm up first. Being tied means we have to redraw, Dang, right? Elliot. <laughs> Being tied means we have to redraw, right? How many times are we gonna die? That's great. That's so great. Looks like you're up No, first. Elliot, that's not fair. Mirror. Really? You're playing that now? I won! That's too bad. Ah, nice. You couldn't beat that. Oof. Ah, I was hoping I'd win this one, too. I'll get you next time, though. Uh-uh, I won. 
doing better at Blade. I like these new cards. They are interesting. Really probably play one of the girls. I could play Sarah. That'd be pretty cool. Uh, let's play Elisa. Let's get started. Draw a card. All right. Are you thinking do three bill for points till you get to the next story bit? It said you could do five in the rules, so I'm just going along to like finish with that. Guess I'm going first. Whoa. And... Whoa. Wow. Girls are bolting all day. Mirror. What does this one do? Let you discard an opponent's card if they have none. This serves as a one. Eh, no. I could bolt it, but I don't want to yet. When she plays a large card, I'm gonna bolt. Maybe, maybe I should bolt now. Now you've done it. I could double my total. What? You can't do that. Uh huh. Aww, one more game. She couldn't beat that. Great. Uh, looks like you win. Don't be so lucky next time, though. It's fine. She's already level four. I think I can't pick anyone else. Yeah, I got five star. It was good. All the ship's operating manuals are in here, and shockingly, are relatively easy to understand. In fact, the biggest hurdle to reading them is extricating all the other books that have been jammed in here. Oh. I think we can blame that on Prince Oliver. He doesn't really strike me as particularly organized. Ugh, given the save the game room across the highway, hallway, highway. I'll say that sugar coating it. Was it a mess? It looked fine to me in the game room. Maybe that's for the best. I was pretty nervous when I heard that we'd be looking after a military ship. But after seeing the state of the prince left it in, the pressure's off. Yeah, maybe this is all deliberate. Like he's sending us a message saying that it's okay to relax and unwind sometimes. We obviously need to take our work seriously, but if he doesn't see any harm in taking a break, then neither do I. Awesome. This ship's got everything we could ever want. But how's it compared to the Pantagirl? A lot more happy. <laughs> well, the Pantagirl's bigger and more luxurious, but the courageous matches it step for step in terms of facilities. And it's more mobile. Got a cooler sounding name, too. Thought so. There's still room to add more. Oh, that reminds me. I had a chance to sit and chat with those two Zephy members. Zephyr members while I was on board. They weren't exactly in the chattiest of moods, of course, but it was pretty clear that they're still thinking about you. Well, that's nice. But you're my family now, and that's what's important. I'll find out what they're after if I have to do it myself. You don't. We're all in this together. We'll help you get your answers. Yeah. Hey, Emilium. Happy. This ship's so fancy. There's so much to see, I can't even decide where to start. I mean, I would if this thing had a chef. I was hoping for some tasty grub. Well, we're flying with the skeleton crew right now. Chefs aren't exactly essential on a ship compared to, say, engineers. But that's why we need to work on recruiting students. The more we get, the better the courageous. Makes sense when you put it like that. Makes me kind of jealous of the nobles, though. I bet the pantry girls got some real top-class chefs on board. They gave us some super fancy food when you took their board, right? How was it? It's not like I could really enjoy that it that much, given the whole hostage thing. Yeah, I'd say so. But Crow cooked. Crow cooked for us. It was awesome. He made us fish burgers and french fries. Oh, I guess it couldn't hurt to ask. Have you ever heard of someone something called the Black Workshop before? Huh? Hold on, who told you about it? I figured she might know. That Altina girl mentioned it to me. She said it's the place she belongs to. She also said they loaned her to the Alliance. Just what kind of place loans someone else a girl? Hmm, how much can I say here? Is the confidential info in their intelligence division file enough? Enough. <laughs> that sounds like stuff you shouldn't be telling me, but... Sure. Well, we don't 
don't know where it is or anything, but it's a really unique arms workshop. They make weapons to order, but one thing they have in common is that they're all super powerful and super hard to use. You know, for terrorists, high-level Jaegers, customers like that. They're dangerous people. That huge rifle crow used to shoot cramps was probably made there too. You think? Oh, that was some serious firepower there. Well, it was designed to hit a target over 3,000 arg away with pinpoint accuracy. That's pretty nuts. Players had the same one he used when he faked his own death back in the mine, too. But if they did make it, I wonder if that means they're allied with the Alliance. That's a lot to take in. But why would a girl like Altina be affiliated with a place like that? Yeah, Millium's pretty bad with the secrets. He's like, can I give you the confidential case files of the intelligence division? It's like, um, you really want to. But why would a girl like Altina be affiliated with a place like that? Then there's that... Oh, I can't say it. Then there's that Clamon Solari Solaris of hers that's basically her personal Allegathlium. Did the Black Workshop make it? Wait a second. Does the Black Workshop make the combat shells or something? What about uh, Lammy, for that matter? Aha! Uh -huh. Ding ding ding! Yep, she used to do business with them through the Intelligence Division, from what I hear. But about a year ago, I guess all contact with them just stopped. Lecter was trying to find out where the actual workshop was for a while, but he didn't have any luck. Is that so? Still, so, I bet you were gonna run into that girl and her Stammy sooner or later. I'm getting a kind of rival vibe from them, you know? Me and Lammy have gotta keep up our training so we can beat them. We're gonna do a thousand arm swings a day and a million push-ups. And we're gonna be so buff you won't even know what hit you. <laughs> I'd imagine a buff Millium now. Just be sure to do those arm swings on the deck and away from people so you don't hit anyone. Now I know more about that workshop though, and it's more mysterious than ever. We might need to add them to our foes to watch out for a list right under Ouroboros. Yeah, I'd say so. Mobile factory. George must be down here. Nice, so this is where the Orbal factory is. I could see myself coming here pretty often. George said he brought the overall bike on board from Ymir too. Maybe it's here? Either way, I want to thank him while I s I'm down here. About floor one, factory hold. This area of the Courageous contains an Orbal factory. That's it. <laughs> like, there's a factory down here. Have fun. Like any other Orbal factory, you can forge weapons and synthesize quartz. Simply speak to George, and he will fulfill all requests. As this area also happens to be the most spacious part of the Courageous, it's also where Valimar and the Orbal Bike are stored. Eventually, both of these can be customized as well. I can customize Valimar? Oh, that'll be cool. Gonna make him look like Death Sight. Hey, George, everything doing okay here? Yeah, your Orbal Factory is all ready for use. So if you need any work done on your ornaments, don't hesitate to let me know. Thanks, I'm sure we'll be taking you up on that very soon. By the way, you're the one who brought the Orbal Bike on board, right? Guilty as charged. I figured it'd come in handy at some point. It was still in good condition thanks to use this, but I did make a few modifications to it. Modifications? Like what? Oh, I changed a few parts so that they'll be better suited to riding off the road. So now you should be able to ride it on rougher terrain. Awesome. Feel free to take it for a spin anytime. It can ride whenever you want? Really? Really? If it to break down or something, it wouldn't be hard to come and collect it with the courageous. But go ahead and have fun riding it around. Thanks. I got a feeling it'll come in handy. To be honest, just the thought of getting to ride it all over the country gets me excited. Uh-huh. <laughs> Angelica will be proud. Oh, just one thing. About that sidecar we added to it. It was roughed up pretty badly during the attack on the academy. Sorry. I can fix it for sure, but it's going to cost a lot of mirror to buy the materials. We have to go without it for the while. At least until we have the funds repaired anyway. That's a shame. It is, but what can you do? Oh, one other thing about the bike. 
What would you say to giving it a brand new paint job? A paint job? Yeah, I saw the special feature in an autom automotive magazine about painting these recently. I thought it might be kind of fun to give it a shot ourselves, you know? We got the perfect test subject. I can easily set the station over there. I'll not give it a go if you're interested. I see that does sound interesting. Yeah, I'll give it a shot once you're all set up. It sounds fun. It does sound fun. You can now ride the Orville bike. Yeah, I just call him Sammy. <laughs> I call Arlegethium Lammy as much as I can. I can't say that word. By pressing the square button on the highway to open the navigation screen and then pressing it again, you can ride the bike whenever you are. Or wherever you are. Ooh. Orville bike 2. Press the button twice. Now this cannot be done from in dungeons or during specific events throughout the course of the story. Press the O button on the orbital bike to dismount. Resume, resume writing, approach it, and press X. You can now customize the color of the Orville bike. Greetings, Awakener. Hi. Hey, Valimar. I take it your man has recovered a little now? Affirmative. It stands at 50% replenished. I see the new powers awaken within you as well. <laughs> I don't know if I'd call it new exactly. The power's always been within me. I just didn't understand what it was or why it was there. But thanks to everyone's help, it finally feels like it's part of me. If that makes any sense. Still, I need to keep practicing using it. I can't have a repeat of what happened aboard the Panther Girl. Hmm. You appear to be aware of your own limitations. Much like you learned to better synchronize with me through practice, humans must improve their specifications through similar means. You need only to work towards improvement to gain optimal proficiency for the battles to come. Huh. <laughs> yeah, I suppose you're right. Can't help but feel that one day, this power will be useful to me as a Wakener too. Won't be able to use it all the time, but I'll do what I can to make to get better at making use of it. I look forward to it. Yes. Ring can now use the craft spirit unification. That's really cool. Using this craft allows Reen to release the power of Finn him and fight for several turns in that state. <sighs> really? Activating cures. Activating it cures all of status abnormalities and increases range strength in battle significantly. What a well stocked infirmary. All the useful essentials like medicine and bandages are here in ample supply. That's good to know. As much as I hate to say it, we probably end up needing all of that. After all, we're dealing with a war here. Even I'm, not op even I'm not optimistic enough to think none of us will ever get hurt. That's true. Hopefully we'll be able to avoid losing anyone, even ignoring the tragedy of it. A loss like that would make taking on Crow and Vita nearly impossible. Yeah, you're right. It's another good reason to stay alive. Uh-huh. Oh, look, it's Mr. Do-It himself! Guess you're too cool to care about the potential risk of kicking your support out of the core, huh? <laughs> ah, talk about holding a grudge. Uh, um, hey, um, I'm sorry. Here they am. Ah, you better be. Just make sure it doesn't happen again, you hear me? Sure, I must got most of my attention now. When I'm fighting, you're fighting in Valimar, I'm your support. I need to see just what you two are capable of, so don't count me out yet. I can live with that. <laughs> well, make sure you don't start getting ahead of yourself. You little insolent brat. No. I feel like she wants to be meaner than she is. Okay, so I like, finished in here. Let's go to the bridge. Alright, I think I've seen all the key on board facilities now. Now it's left is to tell Toa where we're going next. Captain Toa! Talking to Toe in the captain's chair will allow you to both select the destination and organize your party. Regardless of who was selected as Reen's support in battle, Reen will tour the creators alone. Aw, oh, sad. I want to pull up the other characters. But I guess you're going to run into them, so it makes sense. Not aboard the courageous. After landing, you can board the courageous again by pressing the square button to access the navigation menu, followed by pressing the start button. Start? But the 
they not update for Dual Shockers 4? Huh. Okay, I'll figure it out. Note that this feature is not available in dungeons or such portion of the story. Looks like they didn't update that from the PS3 version. Courageous, speak to Toa and select the destination of flight to a specific point of an Erebonia. Bring your ship at any time by pressing the square button and press the option button. Not do it in dungeons. Checking your reporting quest. You can confirm and report quests by inspecting the orbital computer on the bridge. Reporting quest nets AP, which in turn will chronically raise your student rank and earn new reward. Ah, <gasps> yes. Making it wise to check in frequently. Checking student information. Inspecting the computer also gives you access to the latest information available regarding Thor students gathered all across Erebonia. Once the information has been read, it will automatically be recorded in your notebook. Works for me. I think there's only places will be safe for us to land right now. Guess I'll go to Ymir first. You can now travel to Ymir using the Courageous. Oh gosh, they're all together. You can now travel to Nord. Yes, Nord! You can now travel to Garelia. Garelia Proving Ground. Okay, that's scary. You can now travel to the remains of Grarelia Fortress. Lagram! You can now travel to Lagram. When you decided where you want to go, let me know and I'll take you there. Will do, thanks. Where do you want to go? Hmm. All the way back to Ymir. Check on his family. See what's up. Leave it to me! <laughs> if you let men on the ship, things are gonna get less safer. She's not that bad, is she? That's great. Go talk to everyone, see if there's any quests. I need you snowboarding. I'm so bad at snowboarding. What is my quest over here? I know we had one. Those are required. About leave. Wait, is there not a quest here? Maybe not. Hi, Kiki. A butler came for that noble. I figured one would come eventually. You should feel bad for making him come all this way. Wait, do you mean Annabelle? Is she not here anymore? No. Oh, I need I need Annabelle around the f fishing points. That lion's airship was a real horror to see flying overhead. The Courageous definitely gives it a run for its mirror, though. It's amazing that you can fly around in that thing. I gotta believe my ears when you heard that. This Count Arsad gave it to you, right? All the complicated war stuff goes in my head, but I know whatever you do, it's up to protect everyone. So you've got my support. Thanks, Mortz. There you are. You got no idea how worried we all when you just ran off like that. It's sad to see that Crow Kid really is on the lion's side now, though. I can see why it frustrate. Why that frustrate you? I don't really bring myself to believe it either. Yeah, not good. I have no money. That's not good either. I might have to go roam around. Oh, there's Annabelle. Oh, her butler's here. Okay, that's fine. She's still here. Lady Annabelle, will you please? Cons oh, Lady Annabelle, will you not please consider returning to the mansion? You cannot possibly imagine just how worried I've been about you. I... I can't. I have a promise to keep. A promise, you say? Yes, and besides, this village is far safer than the rest of the country. Why, since the war began, there have only been two violent incidents here. Only two? Lady Annabelle, you must leave here at once. It's like, oh my gosh, no. Move, Kiki. <laughs> Child, move. Really? Move. Look, I must get to table. I promised Kenneth that I would meet him here, so I can't just leave. But either way, convincing Kerrigan to leave me comes first. Oh, I think she likes Kenneth. Which is kind of awkward, because I think she said she's engaged to his big brother? Oh, awkward. 
Lady Annabelle, please reconsider. I'm afraid I can't possibly... Ah, yes, this village is a Paradise Wranglers. Even Master Kafai visited here. Well, this sounds like a place you should be, then. All the more reason you should turn to the mansion. Darn. He's a tough nut to crack. Luke. Hey, Reen. Heard you guys are the ones flying the courageous around. You got something big up your sleeves again, don't you? I swear, every time I think the stuff you get caught up in can't get any crazier, you prove me wrong. It feels like it, doesn't it? We've come so far since all began. Still, I really believe we can make a difference in a way that no one else can, even if I'm not sure what that way is yet. I know everyone here must be worried about me, but it might be a while before I can come back. Ah, oh, don't sweat it. Doesn't matter when you come by, you always be welcome home. Wait. I kind of want to go down there and just see what's down there. 